Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Lulu with Lulu's Art Creations. So today I'm working on a series I started last year. Uh, I'm calling it my Witchy Broom series, which I kind of want to expand on it. And so I want to add more brooms to it, obviously, but I also added some uh, hats to go along with it. And eventually I want to add the actual witches and the wands and then once I have kind of all of that sketched out and I have an idea of it, I, I want to turn them into a surface pattern and have different fabrics made with each of the um, different, you know, different uh, styles. So, so far I have this one, which is the purple one. And if you go on my Instagram, I actually have three more. So I have the purple one, I have an emerald one, a golden rod, and then a red one which is kind of valentine-y to me and so I might actually redraw the red one to make it more I don't know make it fit more with the series so that one I had drawn I mean all these I drew as a sketch and that one I just I thought it was really cool and I really wanted to draw it but then I actually got into it and it's kind of a different style compared to the other ones. So it doesn't really fit with the series as well. So eventually I want these to be acrylic charms, stickers, and then uh, once I get to the witches, I want those to be standees. I think it'd be kind of cool to have, you know, just a little series. And I, I definitely want to have all the colors, but then I might expand and, um, like, mix colors together. Oh, I think that would be so much fun. I should probably sketch that. I mean, I have sketches, but I should probably like really sketch that. Uh, sorry, my ADHD. I really love this series. <laughs> this has been one of my favorite little things that I've done. It's to me, it's simple and fun to do. And I, I like simple and fun sometimes like life's chaotic and sometimes you just need easy. <laughs> So right now I am blocking out the colors for the broom. You know, this doesn't take too long. There are a lot of little pieces here and I'm hand painting all of this. Uh, and so originally I was wanting this to be monochrome, but eventually I kind of changed my mind on that once I started playing around with the colors. And I, I like it better without it being monochrome. I think the majority of the colors are purple. But then you have accent colors that kind of help push the purple colors. So one of the scariest things that I want to try this year is turning this into a Kickstarter to basically fund all of the different items that I'm wanting to create. Because there are a lot of ideas that I have for this. I mean, I, I have the wands. I have more brooms, more witch hats. I have the actual witches and then the surface patterns, which will be all, you know, different fabrics, and whatnot. I can make, you know, it'd be kind of fun to make like little bags or, um, aprons. <laughs> I don't know why my brain always goes straight to the aprons. That's kind of a silly thing to, to do, but I, I, I enjoy sewing also. So I guess my mind is like, Oh, I could just sew up a cute little apron and it'll be very, you know, kawaii. <laughs> I'm sitting here editing and the way that I said kawaii was so Southern. It was so sad. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I figured I would keep that in there because it was just, it made me laugh so hard. Anyways. <laughs> So now I'm going back and adding shadow to it. And I wanted this to be simple shading. So all I'm doing for the shading is I created a new layer and I made it an overlay layer. And then I'm using a color, in this case purple, and I'm blocking out the parts that are shaded. So this is very two-dimensional shading. Cell shading is what... And so I'm just... I am I blocked out my parts that I want shaded. Now I'm kind of going through and erasing or adding. Super simple. So another idea that I had that kind of would go along with this, it would end up being a slightly different style. I want this to be a little bit more realistic, but I wanted to make a series of play mats. So I really enjoy playing Magic the Gathering or card games and play mats are just like an oversized uh, mouse pad 
but I wanted to create like different desk or witches desks that you would have like someone who's really into entomology or alchemy or herbs or crystals etc etc I don't know I think it'd be kind of fun what do y'all think well thank y'all so much for watching and if you have any other uh, suggestions on witches brooms or hats or whatnot that I could design definitely leave a comment below uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks!